Neo Davies, my goodness. Look at this. You put me to work. I've been posting this all over America like crazy. Fear free horse training. This is phenomenal. It's going good and uh, we're, we're very pleased the way it's going. We're pleased that you've been able to help us. It's been great. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you, so it's been, well, been great for thank us. Thank you, but I have to say that uh, it's been a long time in coming and it's just so great to have actually done this. Yeah, well, it's only, uh, I think, about five years since we were sitting here and <laughs> decided to write the book, so yeah, it's an overnight success yeah, after five years' work. And it's I not... thought if I'd beat him up, he'd write this book. <laughs> Uh, I remember you saying you were not a writer, and I said within each and every one of us is a writer. And uh, and sure enough, there it was, a writer there nonetheless. Well, I think you, the thing is you've got to have a story to, to tell. You've got to have something to say. And if you've got something to say, you, 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 you uh, it, it comes from within. It's not, not something that's artificial. And, and uh, uh, everyone's probably got something to say about some, some subject. But um, if you believe in something and, and you uh, feel strongly about it, then, then that's where it's come from. You know? What I feel is uh, just amazing about the whole thing is this is a publishing phenomenon. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just blown, blown the lid off publishing like something I've never seen. Yeah. I remember when you wrote the manuscript, you sent it to me, and I said, yeah, this is astounding. It's so brilliant. It's so inspirational. It's so many things. And... Uh, and you said, well, let's find a publisher. Yeah. And I said, yeah, let's try that. Yeah. And as you recall, we got turned down by every major horse publishing company in the world, in the world, okay, <laughs> turned down by every one of them. Well, well, I think the publishers did me a favour by not publishing it because um, if someone had published it, it wouldn't, they wouldn't have put the uh, quality and the amount of photos and what have you into it. And they certainly wouldn't have promoted it. And, and I've you know, with the internet and what have you, I've been able to, to get it out to people and um, the world's changed and unbeknownst to me there's this whole world out there called the internet with the Facebook and what have you and <laughs> I've had to learn about all that. What I, think, <laughs> what I, think, is fa what I think is fabulous, here you are driving around, the tr uh, around Australia in a, in a, in a uh, Winnebago or, what, or a motorhome or whatever it is and, and, and uh, you're, you're on, on your iPhone yeah. selling books yeah. like crazy. I mean, that's unbelievable. Yeah, well, it's certainly uh, surprised me what's happened in the last six months, and it's all been through uh, Facebook marketing and what have you. But but the, the the big pleasure for me is that people people are enjoying it. They're, they're seeing what I've got to say and taking it on board, and, and the word's spreading. So I'm I'm very happy with that. And it's um, I think we haven't scratched scratched the surface yet. I think there's a long way to go. You know? Well, what I think what I think is great is. Uh, uh, here it is, Fear Free Horse Training, but it's actually a very substantial book. I love it. I love it that it's it's uh, got, what, 150 pictures or something? Oh, it's over 300. Over right? 300 <laughs> pictures, yeah, and each each step of the way, it's, and it's, uh, it's, the simplicity of how it's written is wonderful. I've, I've earned a substantial living as a writer, but, and I'm astounded at the power of simple writing doesn't have to be complicated but the message gets across and it's uh, it's a step-by-step -step thing and I just love the quality and you're quite right Neil because if, if you had got somebody some publisher to publish this uh, and thankfully we didn't mm. uh, despite all our efforts uh, it wouldn't have ended up like no, this. It, wouldn't have it would have been some little book they would have tried to cut corners no. they certainly wouldn't have sold it and that's the key. You can write anything you want. You can write a, you can write the most amazing book ever written, and uh, put it in your bottom drawer and leave it there. Yeah. It'll stay there until you no. do something with it. But the the big thing um, with it, what I'm what I'm trying to achieve, and the reason I started, I mean, as Colin knows, I was over here doing stuff, doing clinics and what have you, 30 years ago, and um, it was very very difficult to make money, and um, unless I come over here and went on the road and all the rest, I'd, you know, maybe it would work, maybe it wouldn't, but um, in the back of my mind all these years I, I've known that there's a better way to, to train horses, there's no need for what's being touted today and horses bucking and being chased around and stressed and you see them at these competitions sweating and carrying on and 
there's no need for that and, and that's the reason I've, I've written this book that there is a, uh, an easier way, a better way for the horse and, and that's, that's what motiv motivated me to start and, and, and write the book and, and I've tried to show people step by step how, how that can be done and um, people are getting on board and, and taking on board what I've got to say and I think it, you know, hopefully it'll, it'll work out better for horses but um, you know it, it's not easy being different to, to the mainstream. You, it's it's not, uh, not 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 an easy thing to do. To, to well, that's that's the story I ran into when uh, when we when we started uh, trying to sell the manuscript. Yeah. yeah. Nobody recognised it. Mm. Nobody. Well, yeah. what what they recognise is that it's different, and and nobody wants to be different. It, it, everyone's all on the same track of, of it's it's um, you got to get your horses respect. You got to. Um, desensitise him and all this other rubbish and and I don't agree with any of that so this is totally different so people don't want to know about that it's not mainstream it's not I haven't spent millions of dollars promoting and and, and getting around and, and doing what these other people do so nobody wants to to take on and I can understand that you know from a marketing point of view but but that's that's a plus and a minus I guess you know to be different well I think the the huge plus about it is that Actually, anybody can do it because we are all capable of love and affection, and this is what it's about. Love your horse. I mean, <laughs> how simple is that? Well, what it is, anyone can go out and be nice to their horse. That's one, one only, but that's only one part of it. You still have to be uh, firm at the right time, and, and you've got to have, you've got to discipline yourself. You've got to, you've got to be very exact about what you're doing. It's not just about being nice to your horse, but. That's the first step. Anyone can go out and be nice to their horse, and they'll get improvement by doing that. Go out and rub your horse's head. I mean, how easy is that? And it, and it and you'll get a different different attitude with your horse. But you still have to be firm at the right time. And it's interesting what you said. We've just shot some video, and I don't watch myself work. I never, you know. And I, I sat down and watched the video with my wife of all the stuff we shot. I started a pretty frightened three-year-old horse under saddle. He'd, kicking at you and what have you. I said to Chris, no matter what happens, I'm just poking around as though nothing happened. There's no reaction, there's no drama, there's no... Um, and that's that's the big thing, it's controlling yourself, it's the hard part. Yeah, well, we, we all we all have an ego, right? Mm. We want to be in charge. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. after all, we mm. are human beings. Yeah. We, we yeah. are the superior creatures yeah. on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the horse... He, he's got in his mind what he wants to do. Every horse has got in his mind what he wants to do. Even the best trained horse, he... He, he's got, but what you've got to do is twist that around so that what he wants to do is exactly what you want to do. So you change his attitude from what he wants to do to him trying his hardest to work out what you want to do. And that's what it's all about.